Hey guys. So I just had a thought as I walked in my door. You think of all these times in the Bible when servants of God immediately bowed down in front of an angel or some other servant that had been sent to them. And these servants that were sent to them or the angels that came to them said, no, 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 don't do that. Worship God alone. I'm not God. I'm just, I'm just a servant of God. And so you have to ask yourself, why is it that these people who knew to worship only God, they, these weren't pagans, these were people that knew to worship God and only God, why, why would they immediately bow down and worship? And I think the answer is actually really simple when you think about it. If I were to walk through this door and I lock the door and turn around and there's a man standing there who I know has the glory of God in him and with him, my first instinct probably is going to be to drop to my knees and praise because I'm probably assuming that's Jesus. Probably not going to happen, but let's just put ourselves in that perspective. Now, if it were Jesus, I don't think he'd make me get up, but if it was an angel, they're going to say, no, no, no. Hey, 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 you, you got this wrong. I'm, I'm not worthy to be praised. I'm just a servant like you. So really what it comes down to is the people of the Bible that quickly dropped to their knees and worshipped. I think it's because they didn't want to take one second and make a mistake that they could be standing in the presence of God and not kneeling because they recognize how awesome he really is.